Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much interesting video for you guys. Now today I will talk about a very useful app or essential app or you can say a great app. This app is totally free and open source. So no need to worry about the freedom. So this the name of the app is Zornal++. Yes, Zornal++ is a hand uh, written note taking application. Also, you can annotate PDFs uh, by this app. Also, you can teach online with this app and you can write whatever you want to write. If you have a stylish or pen tablet, so you can write anything. You can uh, draw diagrams. Basically, this is very, very good for teaching. That means uh, whiteboard or you can say this is the blackboard. Uh, for, for your students. This is a cross-platform app. That means you can install this app in Windows or Linux or Mac OS X and also an Android version is available. It is in beta phase that is the testing phase and before starting the video if you are new to my channel then of course subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon. So without further delay let's jump into our topic and let's see how interesting this app is. Alright, so we have currently in my uh, Linux distribution and I am uh, using uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition 5 that is LMD5 with Linux kernel 5.10 and Cinnamon 5.4. So this is my configuration of my laptop. You can see this is a nice uh, interface. And so uh, first of all, I want to uh, go to the website of the Zornal++ app. So just see, just type here Zornal plus plus just you have to type this zonal plus plus so you will see that zonal uh, pp dot github dot io this website will open and this is the official website of the zonal lab this is totally free and open source software so you can actually see the uh, see the source code you can modify it you can redistribute it whatever uh, if you know the programming you can change the code also and make your own version so this is you can see these are the some demos so you can see the very much you can also insert pictures and all that okay and you can see this is the this is very very nice app this is very nice website you can see all these things so to download just uh, click here get it now and you can see this is a cross platform app so this is very very useful because whatever operating system you are using windows linux mac or even mobile android mobile phone you can see the, the the mobile version is available but it is in beta phase but you can still use so basically windows linux mac OS. so i'm just going to the linux now whatever now if you go to the windows uh, you will get the executable file that means .exe file you will get and you just double click it and you can install it. In the Linux you can see you will get various options because lots of uh, Linux distribution. Now the best way to run the Zorna lab is the app image. Now uh, those who don't know app image, now app image is an executable just like Windows and it is a portable executable. That means only you have to do the double clicking the app or double clicking the driver. So the app will open. You have to first uh, just give the executable permission then double click it and then the app will open and it it, it uh, may be may run in any linux distribution whatever you are ubuntu or fedora or um, ubuntu based debian based arch based distros any distro any linux distribution you can uh, basically use this app with the app image also the flat pack version is available it is in the flat hub also so if uh, your software manager has the flat pack support you can install from there also snap package is available so ubuntu snap uh, you can install there also day package is available you, if you go to the day package basically you will go to the uh, github website and there, these are the releases some releases so you can uh, see there are various various formats are here and this day package you can install it is available for the focal okay but uh, it also run uh, in the modern uh, uh, modern uh, ubuntu also so I'm just going back. I will download the app image version. So just click here. It will start downloading and basically you can see it is downloading. I have already downloaded it. So no need to download again. And also this website you, you can see the installation. Also some guide and community support are here. Okay. So you can see basically that uh, this, this, this is the user guide. So all things you will get from here. All the, all the things you, you can learn from here. But uh, this is very simple to use. Okay. No need to worry about. Uh, that much so just uh, I'm just going to that folder where uh, the app is located I have downloaded 
so this is the app so this is zornal version 1.1.1 and this is for uh, 64 bit you can see so first of all i have to right click and then go to properties and go to permissions and here just check this box so allow executable file as program so you uh, basically giving the executable permission you can also do it uh, in the command line okay just uh, uh, type uh, sudo chmod plus x and then this uh, name zornal pp so you can do that also right so this is very easy and now i am just double clicking and you can see this is the loading time is very very fast so you can see this is the uh, really nice interface of the uh, zonal plus uh, plus app you can see the original app was the zonal but this zonal plus plus is a great plus you can see okay so various uh, things have been included here now uh, you can see so you can see this is the version number 1.1.1 all right and you can see uh, these, these are uh, really nice tools you can see these are toolbars so everything you can manage from the toolbars itself okay no need to go to the menu actually okay uh, but if you need you, you have to go there right so basically i'm just showing you that um, if you have a stylus then it will be very good i have already a video uh, about the wacom pen tablet uh, i have this tablet I have already uh, reviewed it. You can uh, watch that video. Uh, uh, going to uh, you just click the i button and you can uh, watch that video. That how how uh, this pen tablet works. So I'm just uh, inserting this you, uh, through the USB cable, and I'm going to use this here. If you don't have any stylus, so you can use your mouse. No problem. But but it is good actually. Now you can see uh, this is uh, working and the pen is moving uh, with my tablet you can see basically and now I, I i can show you guys so whatever you can write here right you can write here now the pen thickness you can actually change from here you can now this is the pencil or this is the pen you can see and also you can change the pen thickness or uh, the type of the pen you can see now type of the pen what is uh, this is the standard or dashed or dash dotted you can see suppose dashed so this thing you will get okay and basically now you can see these, these are the uh, pen thickness so fine medium and thick so i'm going to medium so you can see this is the medium and if you actually use the the pen tablet so this is the this is a pressure sensitive tablet so if you uh, giving the lower pressure it will be thinner line if you give the higher pressure it will be thicker line so that that's the thing very cool thing and also <coughs> you can see uh, some other lines and dash and dot line so you can see and also choose you can choose a color pen color so this is the thing you can choose pen color right and you can see also the dotted line so only dotted line you will see like this and also you will get some eraser so eraser option you will get okay so standard uh, standard eraser and so, so what is standard eraser i'm just clicking here and you can see you can erase it this is this is uh, very much good and also you can do delete strokes so you can delete a stroke you can see so you can delete a stroke by once so I, I just like the standard and also there is a highlighter you can see so you can uh, highlight these things you can also change in the thickness of the highlighter I will show you later and you can also insert some text so you can insert some text also so you can type something basically this is for hand handwriting uh, handwriting notes so basically whatever you can do here actually just click here in the pin and you can do whatever you can do basically so, so this is really cool so i'm just giving this standard right so standard is good all right and one by one i, I will give you and you can also insert some image so if you have some image you can insert from here if you have some latex driver that is text live if you use the text live so you can also uh, use the latex that means uh, some some formula you can write in the latex format okay so you can install the text live and you can try okay sudo apt install text live all right and also you can uh, draw some diagrams you can see 
but first of all uh, let me uh, show you that going to the view and here toolbars now you can change the toolbars in many ways but i i like this 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 toolbar right hand note taking application so i especially like this toolbar this is very very useful for me and most of the time i use this so you can see this is very very nice toolbar now uh, a lot of pen options you can see also some page view and all uh, and other stuff are there to insert a new page you can see uh, you can click the plus now what type of page it will be you can see some type of pages are here you can see Re really nice so if you like only the plain page so just click here and this is you can see the plain page if you like to insert some graph page so basically now plus icon so you can see the graph page so this is plain and this is rule play page so this is things so this type of page you can insert and also you can delete page from here this is a hand tool only for scrolling purpose and basically this is the default tool you know what type of diagram you can actually now you can draw an ellipse so just click here and you can draw ellipse right you can also draw a circle by this okay a special type of ellipse is circle actually now you can also draw some rectangle you can see rectangle all right and also you can you can uh, give arrow so this is arrow right and also some straight line you can draw a straight line and some coordinate system you can do that coordinate system right and also you can uh, insert some curve like things like this thing curve you can insert now this what is this thing this is the shape recognizer so if you uh, draw some shape it will uh, recognize that what type of shape it may be but uh, currently it is uh, i have tested just a circle and straight line so if i if i draw a straight line it is not perfect but its artificial intelligence will make it perfectly straight line and if i draw a circle you can see so it will be a perfect size, uh, circle so straight line and circle this is automatic uh, you will get but other other things uh, suppose triangle this is not actually that good that it can pick up uh, the shape of a triangle right so this is the thing and basically and and this tool is the filler so whatever you can draw it, it will fill the thing you can see like this all right so you can also record and you can also go into the full screen so if you click here you you can go to the full screen also and you can record the thing whatever you are doing here so you can record all of the things and you can record with the audio also so that's the option right there all right i'm just leaving the full screen now i'm going to the preferences now see what type of preferences are there right all things i mentioned here right all right and you can also annotate pdf one thing i'm just telling you can also annotate pdfs so just uh, click file and just annotate pdf okay you can whatever you can do uh, from here right basically you can draw some diagrams and whatever you want okay and you can uh, export it as the pdf okay export it as the pdf so it will save in the pdf format so annotation of pdf is uh, really great you can actually suppose in online teaching you have some pdf so you can open that pdf and you can do whatever you can do okay so basically uh, you if you have some pdf of a note or something uh, so you can actually you can actually uh, doing things and underlining and whatever thing you can do so the for the online teaching this app is uh, really really grateful so for the teaching purpose it is really awesome and for the students also right now i am going to the preference section so many things say uh, you can do with this app okay you can also annotate pdf and it is a pdf viewer yes of course you can view the pdf so lot of uh, lot of preferences are there you can see a lot of preferences and you can see uh, this is the auto saving option every 3 minutes you can change input system if you have some stylish whatever you can change from here 
you can see all the stylus and things and touchpad I'm, if i if i'm using the touchpad right so and wacom tablet you can see i'm currently using this wacom tablet and basically the mouse you can see and stylus now this is the stylus setting you can change the pressure sensitivity from here okay so whatever pressure um, okay uh, you want to actually give okay and you can change the pressure sensitivity and stylus button so you can do many things from here also touch screen options are there if you uh, laptop or desktop or, uh, has, has the touch screen so you can uh, do these settings also and in the view section you can see uh, the cursor pen you can change uh, either small dot or big pen icon i am using currently big pen icon when i am using stylus it will automatically direct the big pen icon and also zoom you can see zoom and drawing area and default settings audio recording you you have to now uh, if you want to record the audio so you have to first uh, uh, actually give a path to to store the audio okay and then you can able to do that also latex so latex thing you can do here okay so you have to just configure it uh, okay you have to uh, install first uh, one latex uh, package suppose text live in linux and miktek in windows right so uh, different languages are there so whatever language you can choose so all these are settings so a uh, much of uh, thing has been included in zonal plus plus compared to the zonal app and also all the toolbar things you can uh, access from this menu also but toolbar uh, the using of the toolbar is uh, uh, useful and it is easy actually so you know, what uh, now what do you think actually is the, is this app is good i think it's good okay what you uh, actually think just uh, give your opinion in the comments below and uh, i will share you the uh, download link from where you can download whatever uh, your system is linux windows or mac you just install it is you just use it uh, it is very very good app i'm telling you and it is uh, a best practice for online teaching or <laughs> offline teaching you can see with the projector right so in various ways you can use this app this is a really educational app uh, currently i am reviewing so and it is open and free um, uh, software of course so if you like this video uh, give a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe my channel and support me okay supporting me you just subscribe the channel hit the notification bell icon and you uh, hit the like button so uh, that's all for today's video uh, and thanks for watching guys to watch my video and see you in the next video till then goodbye and take care